Hi guys, before I start um, talking about what this video is actually about, I just wanted to point you towards my Instagram, Science with Hazel. I have been so busy adding quick five questions there. I'm going to be adding them there rather than here because it's so much quicker for me to get them up and out. It takes so long to edit these videos and it's a really quick way of me just booting out as much material as possible so people are hoping for more quick fire go head over there. So this video is all about why I am not making prediction videos. I know it'll be fairly unpopular because I get an awful lot of requests asking me to make predictions videos, but I thought it was my responsibility to explain my thought process and for you guys to understand why I will never make a predictions video. So, first of all, I'm going to split you guys into two camps for you to understand my thought process. There'll be those people out there who are fairly confident, they've done a lot of revision, they're, they're confident they know the material, they're scared of what the questions will be asked in terms of will they be able to actually answer the question being asked, but in terms of knowing what a nucleus does, what the definition of unsaturated is, they're sorted. For those people, predictions videos are pointless because theoretically they're sorted, so they've pretty much learnt everything, so watching a predictions video going the exam will be on genetic engineering, it won't be on the heart. Pointless for them, because they already know everything. For the people who haven't done as much revision as they planned, they're not feeling so confident with their subject matter, they're the people that probably actually want the predictions videos more than anyone, because they're like, oh my god, I haven't got any time left. How am I going to spend in my two days, my one day, my two hours? I should be focusing on stuff that will definitely be coming up on the exam, so that's why they'll be keen to look at predictions videos. However, you can't trust someone who is telling you the heart will be on it, cells will be on it, there won't be any mention of eutrophication. How on earth could they possibly know? No one knows what is on the paper apart from the person that wrote the paper. The papers get locked up, they get sealed, there's a special thing you have to unzip when the teacher opens it the day you have your exam. No one has seen that paper. Therefore, people who make predictions videos are basically talking absolute rubbish because they have no clue what is on that paper. And it's actually incredibly dangerous to tell people not to learn whole reams of things. It, you can't question spot, you can't go, oh, last year there was a question on this, therefore there won't be a question on this. Some examiners love double bluffing and repeating questions from one year to the next. Other examiners go, right, it's been five years since we asked this question, so it's time we ask it again. There is no pattern to spot, there is no rhyme or reason, and that is why prediction videos are so dangerous. For people doing new spec, Prediction videos are even more pointless because there are literally no papers to even try and pattern spot on. There's like one specimen paper. So how on earth you can possibly know what's going to be asked when you've never even seen the style of past paper questions? You have no real idea. That seems really odd to me. For these people then, who are either doing new spec or are panicking because they haven't done enough work and they're thinking, God, I need to just spend time learning very specific topics. I think personally your best bet now with very little time left is to do past papers and I know you don't have past papers for your spec but for AQA people I do tend to think the IGCSE ed Excel past papers are fairly similar because I teach both of them alongside each other so the AQA spec has changed since I taught it last year and it's become far more detailed and far more similar to the IGCSE ed Excel spec so go onto their website Google IGCSC Ed Excel from 2009, find those papers, particularly on chemistry, the organic chemistry questions are really applicable, the mole calculations are really applicable, and to be honest, hopefully you'll be able to spot if a question is relevant to you, and that's what I really recommend right now, is answering as many past paper questions as possible, looking at the mark schemes and looking for the specific wording, so people don't go cutting out half of that content, being like, right, this prediction video said this would be on it, so that's what I'm going to learn. No, 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 just do as many past papers as possible because you'll be coming across lots of different types of question and that should really help you. Anyway, rant over. hope you do understand why I won't be making predictions videos. And good luck with your work, guys, and come follow me on Instagram. There's so much extra support there. I didn't even realise what a good tool it could be for my channel. And, um, yeah, good luck. Okay.